Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, do you play doubles? Do you signal when you play doubles? Or do you just stand there and protect your side until somebody says, switch? All right, so coffee sponsor of today is Alvin Hunt. Elvin writes, love your channel and watch it daily. Thanks for making me more knowledgeable about tennis gear and tennis in general. Appreciate your efforts. Well, thank you, Alvin. I appreciate you appreciating me. I appreciate you appreciating me because um, it's very appreciative of both of us. And I appreciate it. All right. Alvin, here's to you. Ooh, and, and if you want to be like Alvin and appreciate me, um, you can hook me up with some coffee. That network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. And you can get me coffee there. All right. If you want to just hook up the channel and support us, network is super thanks. Button down below. Just press it and you can contribute as much or as little as you like and keep us rolling. All right, so I'm gonna hit this coffee up and keep myself rolling for a bit. All right, so today we're actually talking about hand signals. You know, what does this mean, guys? Am I in Hawaii? Are we like hanging loose, right? Well, did you know that this is similar to a signal that's in doubles? Right, a little wavy wavy, a little shaka shaka, you know. But what does that mean? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go on the court. I got some, uh, some coaches with me and we're gonna show you what to do instead of standing on your side and just protecting that one side. So you're both essentially playing singles on your side. Let's not do that anymore. Let's communicate with your partner. All right, we'll see you on the court. All right, Coach Rob, so let's talk about basics of doubles signaling. Okay. Um, when I was learning in my youth, we pretty much stayed on our own sides and we didn't signal and I stayed on my side, uh, the server stayed on their side and it was basically just cross court singles until somebody made a mistake and hit it to me or the other net guy by accident, then we kind of put it away. Hopefully. Hopefully, right. hopefully. But that was pretty much it though. So, um, but let's talk about basics. I mean, what am I supposed to know? Now? All right, let's go up to the net and we'll, uh, okay. I'll pretend that I'm serving and Harry's gonna be our net star. So Harry, probably gonna be over a little to our left, right? You wanna be able to cover the alley with one step Right, so you don't want to be covering green. Right. Right, you don't want to cover out. Okay, so right here. Right. Let's go here. So then in your sign, if you give me a closed fist, that means he's probably going to stay. He's not going to cross. If he goes open, now when the serve is hit and it's going over the net, it's going into the square, Harry's going to cross. It means I'm going this way. He is coming across, hopefully boom, diagonally, boom. trying to steal the volley. Boom and he's hoping to hit it down the middle or maybe at the other net guy's feet if he has uh, a clean winner and he wants to angle it back off towards this alley over here, you know, you can try that too, but it leaves your alley exposed if you don't hit it clean. Got it, got it. So th that's usually your simple, um, basic signaling. Signals don't have to be closed and open as long as you and I are on the same page of what they mean we would be fine. Got but it. Traditionally, you just go with closed, meaning you're staying, open means you're going to cross. Got it. So if I'm going this way, you're probably going to be thinking I got to cover that way. Correct. Okay. I I'm going to have to serve and go to my left and cover Harry's side of the court while Harry covers my side of the court. Got it. So if I'm telling you I'm going, 
I can't change my mind and say, no, I'll forget it. <laughs> That's not going to work too well because I will end up on this side of the court. We'll both be you. on the same side. Yeah. Yeah, we got this bad. side covered. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. All we right. Don't want that. Okay. We're not going to win many points that way. <laughs> okay. Unless they're over there going, what are these two idiots doing? But, you okay. Know. So if you commit to go, you're going. Okay. No right. matter what. Right. All right. Okay. So I have another question, and I'm going to need Coach Jared for this question. All right. So we got Coach Jared now. Um, Guys, I was watching a benefit for the Ukraine on YouTube with, um, I think it was Iga and Rafa playing together in a mixed doubles deal. And <clears throat> they were signaling to each other. And at one point, one of them said, um, yep. And then what do I do? Right. And then I was like, what is she talking about? And then she did it again. I think she was back there and Rafa was signaling to her. I think it was them too. And she said, okay, that's what you're going to do. But what do you want me to do? And I was like, that, is that something new in doubles? So, so Coach Jared, um, since he just played out of college, uh, maybe he can shed some light on what's going on there. Coach Jared. Yeah, so sometimes... Usually if you're doing two signs, that's usually for the person at the net. So maybe Rafa was giving, or maybe Ego was at the net giving two signs. So the first one is usually where your partner is going to serve. And the second one is what you're going to do. The only times that the person on the baseline will get two signs is if you're doing either Australian or um, eye formation. So you'll give, that's actually three signs. <laughs> so the person at the net will give a direction, what they're going to do. And then they're going to give the person at the back um, instructions on what they're going to do. So that's three signs. So unless they're doing eye formation, I think the only person who's giving two signs is usually the person at the net, if that makes sense. Interesting. And what would that look like if I, if you were going to give, if I was your partner and you were signing, mm -hmm. what would your signs be? So the first sign would look like a direction. So either wide, uh, T, body. And then the second sign would be either stay or go. Um, that's at least what we've been doing. And then um, there's also some further signs I can give you guys later on. Um, but that's pretty much the simple stuff that we would do. So first one is directions, and the second one is either stay or go. Okay, so, so, do, so that let's do that, but slower. I didn't catch that. Okay, I, I yeah, so I don't know say, where you're going. for example, <laughs> say we're on the on the do side. Um, so if I'm gonna give a sign. So Jer Jared's the net player and I'm the server. Correct. So if I'm gonna give Coach Robin instruction, I'll go like here, which means serve wide. And then the second one will either be me staying or me going. So those are pretty much how I'm gonna do it. and. Like I mentioned before, make sure your partner acknowledges it so that you, you know, know where they're going. <laughs> Otherwise, if you just serve the ball, everyone's going to be lost. So just right. make sure you, again, get that communication down. Right. And before you get to that level of direction on serve, you got to practice your serve so you can hit it where you need it to go. Because if he's telling me to serve it wide and I serve it down the tee, bet plan is off. Correct. Usually. The serve doesn't go where it needs to go. Usually, at least back when our day, we were like, it's all off. Just play it straight and hope for the best. Exactly, exactly. So, and go practice your serve some more. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that was two signals. What's the third? All right, so the third one is, uh, let's do like an eye formation, for example. Okay. So say yep. if I'm playing eye formation, um, if I'm going to be standing here, I give, again, let's go with Coach Rob, uh, serve wide. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is I either signal left or right. So if I'm going left, I'll put my pinky out. And if I'm going right, I'll put my thumb out. And then the third one is I'm going to tell Coach Rob where to go. So if, if I say if I go right, he's always going to go left. If I go left, he's going to go right. Um, so usually that's just, again, for clarification, because sometimes you're just, when you're in the moment, you're not thinking too much. So obviously you just want to make sure you're getting those things clear and concise to your partner. So that's what three signs looks like. Got it. Wow. And that's you don't a lot want to, to end up on the same side of the court. That's exactly. a lot to think about. Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to get stuck in the same side of the court. Yeah. So yeah. good to clarify. Um, definitely practice it before you try it in a match. Make do sure you practice match. Make sure you can do it first. Well, that's why <laughs> Correct. You practice yeah. it before you go put it into a match. And yeah. it's important to be, if you're the server, say you got it. So if he gives me one signal on serve location and I don't want to serve there, I can say no. And then he goes to a different sign and I go, got it. And then maybe he gives, he wants to poach or stay and we can communicate through um, the yes and the no that way. Yep. Yep. Got if it. you're not good on hand signs, just go talk to each other. 
That's yeah. another one. That's just go, I'm serving to his backhand. You go understand. And exactly. And go from there. Or where do you want me to serve it? You know, if I'm if my serve's a little struggling, I need some confidence from him. He goes, hey, Rob, you've been serving great down the tee. Let's do it right here. I'm like, okay, good. Or you could say, Rob, can you hit a first serve somewhere in the square? <laughs> yeah, okay, I think I can do that. Great, let's try it. Because yeah. my location's not working, or I'm trying too hard. You know, you guys want to work together as a doubles team. Got it. Perfectly explained. Okay, so let's let's explain how it really works, and let's get Coach Ryan and Coach Daniel over here, and we'll show you how it's done. So he's going to show me wide again. See your second side. He says, go play again. So let's try this one more time. All right, so that's how you do it. Preferably on the first volley, you'd want to put that away, but uh, that is a perfect execution of what you really want on a, uh, on a doubles point. So could have gotten the serve a little more wide, um, but we set the partner up pretty well and got the volley down and that's how you do it. Let's see if we can get him set up here. Good reflexes from Rob, uh, Coach Rob, but uh, that's pretty much the setup that we wanted. So again, we uh, had my brother call T and go. Um, we had the perfect setup where he wanted the ball on top of the net. Could have done a little bit better on that put away volley, but again, Coach Rob just has the reflexes of an animal. So that's awesome. So um, it really helped that Coach <laughs> Rob knew what was happening and was already <laughs> bailing out and was able to put his racket up. So if we were really playing, um, I probably wouldn't have been as uh, still standing here. He probably would have got me pretty good because that volley was high and he was crossing. So, um, uh, yeah, but that was well, you know, aim down the middle or hit it in the direction you're going, hit, find their feet, and all that is uh, going to make it so that, you know, uh, it should be a success for the serving team. Exactly. Right, let's do it again and take Coach Rob out. All right, so let's go first sign from Daniel. It's time to go T. Yep, the second sign. He's going to do a go play. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, guys, so we learned the importance of signaling today. And so signaling is essentially communicating with your partner, with your fingers, okay? So use it because it's kind of important. Like, you're not supposed to stand at the net and go when you want to go, okay? That's old school doubles. Let's go to new school doubles, okay? So Coach Rob, Thank you for showing us the way in the basic stuff. Yeah. Coach Jared, thank you for explaining, you know, like the, the higher level stuff. So make sure you can execute, you know, this one before, actually make sure you can execute this one before you can advance to this one, okay? Because you gotta get the ball into the right spots before you can get there, okay? Wanna also thank Coach Daniel and Coach Ryan for hanging out with us today and trying to explain signaling to you today. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, ready? Out. The ball was in. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious! The ball hit the paint! Paint flew up! Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor! You cannot be serious! Oh wait, I have swing vision. The ball is in.